Hi, it's Lisa here from Capstone Editing. In this video, I'll be explaining what the peer review process is and why it's so important to use sources that are peer reviewed when writing essays at university. Most first year university students quickly learn that they should use peer reviewed sources and that these are somehow more trustworthy than other sources. But it's usually unclear what peer reviewed sources are exactly and if some peer reviewed sources are better than others. This video will explain why peer reviewed sources are generally better to use in your assignments than non peer reviewed sources. When an academic submits an article to a journal that uses peer review, the article is then reviewed by a panel of experts or referees in that field. The aim of scholarly peer review is to check and provide feedback on the submitting academics ideas and research techniques to ensure that only high quality, credible and important articles are being published in the journal. The referees may decide that an article can be published as is, published with revisions or that the article is not suitable for the journal at all. It is this process of oversight and screening by a panel of experts in that particular field that ensures that published peer review articles can be considered reliable. It's important to note that not all journals are peer reviewed. In particular, many online or free to access journals may not be peer reviewed. There are ways to check this. Most university library databases will allow you to limit your search to return only journal articles that are peer reviewed in your search results and this is the easiest way to check. You can also try typing the journal name plus information for authors into Google to find the journal's information for submitting authors. You can then scan that information for any mention of a peer review process. If you use Google Scholar to find your articles, you need to be very careful. You can select to search only peer reviewed articles, but you'll find that most of the results are abstracts only and that you actually need to log into your university library to access the full articles anyway. Although some peer reviewed journals have some articles that are open source, which means you don't require a subscription to read them, you're much more likely to be able to access the high quality sources that you need through your university's databases. This is just one of the reasons why I always recommend to students that they use their library to find academic sources instead of Google. You don't even need to go to the university library physically if that's what's stopping you. You can log into your university's library from anywhere and limit your search results to peer reviewed journal articles that are available, available electronically and then you can read the PDFs anywhere. So really, there's no excuse for turning to Google or even Google Scholar to find sources for your essays. Doing so will more likely result in you using non-academic sources or sources that haven't been peer reviewed. Something else that's important to note is that even peer reviewed journals are not all considered equal. Journals are organized into tiers or ranked based on the journal standing within the field and how selective it is with the articles it accepts. The higher the journal's reputation for top quality research and the higher its standards for articles, the higher that journal will sit in the tier system. Many university departments and libraries will offer lists of journal rankings for students. You can ask your tutor, lecturer or librarian about this. Articles published in peer reviewed sources are, by definition, more reliable and of a higher standard than articles published in non peer reviewed sources. You can trust that a peer reviewed source has been closely reviewed by a panel of experts who've provided feedback on the ideas and research methods to the authoring academic. The resulting paper will be representative of best practice in the field and more authoritative as a source. Articles from top tier journals are thus likely to be the best researched and most authoritative, ideal sources to use as the basis for your argument. All this information should make it pretty clear what is best practice for conducting your research and your writing your university essays and assignments. You should be accessing top tier journals through your university's library website and using your university's databases to find peer reviewed sources for your essays and assignments. 
While Google Scholar may be helpful in locating the abstracts of useful sources, which you can then locate through your library, the open source articles available on Google Scholar will be mostly from non-peer reviewed journals. And you need to base your arguments on peer reviewed sources as these are reliable, well researched and accepted as authoritative in the field. I hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please do like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the Capstone Editing YouTube channel and our blog for more useful advice about essay writing and how to succeed in your studies. Thanks for watching.